once you've got the Outlook add-in installed, you're going to notice that there'll be a couple of new sections for you. First of all, at the top, we've got a Dynamics 365 section that's got a couple of buttons, Track and Set Regarding, that are immediately available for you to click. And we've also got some that are going to be disabled that you can't use until you've actually done one of these. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. You'll also notice at the top, there's a Dynamics 365 section that's got a couple of areas where you can add in new records, either some activities um, or also different types of records, account, contact and lead. And also being able to synchronize directly with Dynamics 365 um, rather than waiting for it to do its sort of scheduled sync. If you're a little bit impatient, you could just click on that and go ahead and sync stuff. So I'm going to go back to the home. Um, what I can do from here is I could actually go ahead and track this record. So we can see here we've got an email from somebody saying that they need some assistance. Um, it's most likely one of our clients if they're emailing support, whatever that might be. So a couple of ways to track. I've got the track button at the top here. I could also open up this email in full rather than looking at it in the viewing pane. And I'm going to have the same menu um, with track and set regarding and so on. Um, also, if you right click on the email, you're also going to have the track track and set regarding options as well. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in the uh, in the reading pane and just click the track button from the top. When we do that, what you're going to notice is it'll be a new section for uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 that will open up at the bottom. Immediately, you can see that it's got some related records. Now, what's happened is this has been um, with the the sender and the receiver, it's basically looking at the emails that are, sorry, the email addresses that are included in this email. So from this perspective, the email's been sent from hello at meganvwalker.com, which I've actually got on a record called Susan Jones in um, D365. So it's found the sender is Susan Jones and that's a contact. This is um, a hyperlink that I could click on and actually open up the record from here if I wanted to. It's also found that the email that this has been sent to, so the inbox is megan at mpsdemosummercamp.onmicrosoft.com. Um, that is linked to the user record of Megan Walker. So we can see immediately here, it's had a look in the system and said, right, these are the two records that exist with these two email addresses on them. So automatically it's going to go ahead and it's going to sync it into that record. OK, we've also got an option for regarding where if we wanted to, we could actually set this regarding something else. So it could be that this is a case that's already open. We can set it regarding a case. It could be that there is a um, opportunity that's already open. So we could go ahead and we can set it regarding the opportunity. So that way we can find the activity on Susan Jones record and we can also link it to something as well. So, again, I could search for cases and I can link it and, and, and sync it up to a specific specific case as well if I wanted to. Okay. So now what we've got is we've got this email a set regarding a case called contact details requested and also we've got it um, synced to Susan Jones as a contact and Megan Walker as a user. So if I actually go into D365 and I just do a um, quick search for Susan Jones, we'll pull her record up. Um, what's happened is if I go into the activities, there is that email that we've um, just tracked and we can see the email immediately has been added in there. OK, in terms of we've just tracked that, that's great. It's gone through. You can see that. But if I've tracked the wrong email by mistake, what I can now do is I can untrack that. It's going to say you're no longer tracking this item. Do you want to delete that record that's been added into Microsoft Dynamics 365? So if you just want to stop tracking it, click no. But if you also want it to be deleting that activity that was created, then we're going to go ahead and click yes. When we do that, the section at the bottom of the email will disappear. One other thing to note, if I do just track this again, um, along with it being able to find and link it to those records, what you'll also notice is that there will be a little icon that will be added into the um, your list of emails in the inbox. And we can see there it's got sort of two people next to it. So that is the indicator that the email has been tracked into Microsoft Dynamics 365. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Tracking an email um, to a record that already exists in D365.